Stage one propulsion is nominal. There goes Electron, launching into an all new world with our seventh mission for Synspective. We've cleared the pad and Electron is now about 42 seconds into flight and climbing nominally in both speed and altitude, which means next up for this phase of flight will be max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. The guidance, navigation and control Vehicle team will give us a call once we've cleared Q. that point in the launch, so let's listen in. There we go, Electron has successfully cleared Max-Q and the first stage's nine Rutherford engines are burning hot to take us past 16 it kilometers in altitude stop. now at over 2,000 kilometers an hour. Now those engines have another 60 seconds or so to go before we reach the next point in flight, which is main engine cutoff or MECO on the first stage. And this is when all nine of those engines shut down at the same time, just ahead of Electron's second stage separation event. That yeah, shutdown phenomenal. helps to ease Electron's velocity just a touch for stage separation before the second stage's own yeah, Rutherford engine ignites for its engine burn to deliver the mission closer to orbit. This all happens very quickly within just a few seconds, so keep an eye across the views in front of you stage to watch it all from Electron's normal. onboard cameras. And let's listen in for those seconds. calls from Mission Control. Enter it for now, detect mode. 10 seconds till staging. Miko confirmed. S separation confirmed. Stage 2 ignition confirmed. A beautiful sequence of events there that was a successful Miko state separation and second stage ignition all within a matter of seconds for Electron. And up next we should see Electron's arrowhead fairing separate and fall away so let's watch and listen for that now. Fairing jettison confirmed. Nice one. There goes Electron's fairing, and there was the strict satellite live on your screen Stage being propelled closer possible. and closer to orbit to join the six other strict satellites That's already there, normal. thanks to Electron. Now, under six minutes of engine runtime for this second stage Rutherford to go, the mission otherwise is now past 129, just ticked 130 kilometers up in altitude and moving along at over 8,000 kilometers an hour. HPV discharge holding nominal. The version of Rutherford engine used for the second stage is practically the same as the sea level version used for the first stage, just with a few more pounds of thrust per engine and a higher specific impulse of 343 seconds stage compared to 311 seconds for the sea level version. This basically means that the engine with the higher value of specific impulse is more efficient because it produces more thrust for the same amount of propellant. Across both, both types of engines, though, we use batteries to electrically pump the Rutherford's fuel. 
And for the second stage engine, we need to swap those batteries out as the engine's runtime drains them. This is called the battery hot swap, and it's a manoeuvre that you'll only find on Electron and for these engines. And we're coming up on that milestone very shortly, with battery hot swap scheduled to take place at around 6 minutes and 36 seconds into flight, not too far away now. And you might actually see the spent batteries from the stage to disconnect and fall away when that happens. So look out for a shiny silver object being jettisoned to know that the battery hot swap has taken place. It's nominal, 200 seconds remaining. HUV discharge holding nominal, approaching hot swap in roughly 30 seconds. Throttling down. Battery jettison confirmed. Good Confirm confirmation there from successful. the team in Mission Control. A fresh set of batteries are now in place and battery hot swap stage was successful. We've got about two minutes left of engine burn time for the second stage before we come up on the next set of events for Electron. Those will be Seco, a second engine cutoff when the engine shuts down in preparation for kick stage separation, repeating the actions we saw earlier between Electron's first stage and second stage. We are expecting Seco to take place in around 9 minutes 13 seconds into flight, so not long to go now. All right, we're coming up to second engine cutoff on Electron's second stage very soon. Now, much like the earlier separation event that took place during the first phase of launch, we should see the engine shut down in preparation for separation with the kick stage, which is currently carrying some Specto satellite. Now, once the engine shuts off and the kick stage separates for its phase of the journey, its own little Curie engine won't light up right away. Instead, it will go into a, a bit of a coast phase around the Earth to help line up its trajectory for the orbital target that we've been set for this mission. And that cruise takes around 46 minutes or so until it's time for the kick stage's Curie engine to ignite. First, let's make our way through Seco, which, looking at the clock now, should be coming up in just a few short moments. Nominal transfer orbit achieved.